Come on, Wink. Come on, Wink. The introduction is big. It's big. Get ready. They got a Jay-Z in Nigga scream moving, what you moving, cuz? All gas, no brakes, man, that shit a dub. Pick inside, you should have never told. Standing tall, remaining solid, why a nigga cold? Harder with my thoughts and plans. Never ran, never taking a stand. Always keep it a grand. It's smoking mirrors in a white cloud. Same yeah. homie, breaking seeds, is trying to take you out. Loyalty don't exist no more. You took an oath, feeling broken, torn. What you breaking it for? Rather break the law than break a bond Showing yeah. growth for the homies that we lost forever gone I, I, I Just applying pressure, these are baby steps Ribbon on the box, this a gift I ain't open yet Good. Sacrifices yeah. all Man, know. you're now tuning into Me, 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 me Million dollars worth of game, I'm Wilo267 This right here is Gilly the King Right here with the one and only Don't call me white girl, aka white girl Cause that's what we call girls that look like they white girls in the hood no, White no, girl, even though they say don't call me white girl But we call them white girl And this is brought to you by Barstool Sports, man. Listen, that song, that? that song of the week was by Wink Low. It's called Two Sides, man. Straight Wink Loke. Straight out of motherfucking Brooklyn, man. He making it happen, man. But listen, man, we're going to get into this million dollars worth of game, man. But first, we want to listen. <laughs> A lot of you guys going to need this, man. I, uh, I'm not going to say I've been here before, but Gil been here before. We're talking about them, them Roman swipes. <laughs> Roman swipes are clinically proven. Way to last longer in bed. Something that Gil need the most. You know what I mean? Because he, wow. you know, he didn't, yeah, he called people. He be looking for all. He be looking for. He be looking for cheaters. They call them cheaters. Them things you use to cheat because you can't. You're not. How can I say? You're not energized enough, or you're not manly enough to stay there Poor when you need dude. to be there for her, for that special person that you have in your <laughs> life. You know that special person that went that wants you to stay. Uh, how can I say it? She wants you to stay. Uh, Standing, they you know, and uh, one thing about Roman, uh, you know, you you go to uh, get Roman.com slash million, right? And listen, let me tell you something, man. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, they're going to hook you up. When I say hook you up, I mean you get your first month of swipes mm. for just five dollars when you choose a so monthly how does plan. It work? You swipe listen, it on your listen, piece. you take it as small, you swipe it. The thing about it, they're effective, they're easy to use, fast acting, but don't require a prescription. That's the thing about Roman swipes. All you do is just swipe it. Roman can be shipped to you in a discreet, so you swipe it unmarked on your piece. Yeah, it's, listen, they're gonna ship it to you in a discreet, it's unmarked, crazy. unmarked packaging. Swipe. Listen, the swipe packages. Listen, they legendary. The swipe package. I'm not who. Hold on. I'm, yeah, I'm you not, just told listen, they legendary. Yeah, legendary. Wow. Yeah. Swipe, the wow. swipe package. Listen, they small enough to hide in your wallet. Like you can hide these joints in your wallet. Think about that. Let me they, see they, your wallet. Real listen, quick. you got some swipe joints in there, huh? See my what? No, my wallet. Yeah, you got, got some swipe juice. No. I see, you see the swipe puppies. You got some swipies in there. No. Uh, you swipe on April. Wow. Huh? They small, they small you got to swipe to get right, right, huh? And listen, one thing about it, swipe are a great way. Now, listen, a great way not transform to your point. Listen, I'm talking about, listen, listen, they would not. I'm talking about, listen, they would not. Listen, <laughs> swipes is legendary. Listen, they legendary. But they would not, listen, trans, listen, your partner, so you can last longer. I'm talking about, listen. They're super easy to use. Just take the swipe out of the package, swipe it on, whoop, whoop, whoop. Let it dry. While you swipe it, you can let it drop. Whatever, I'm saying whatever you want to do. I'm not no. saying you know all the actions. You swipe they? it, right? Listen, okay. you just swipe it, let it drop, and you're good to go. You're out of here, but listen, go to you're Get Roman. You're gonna sock it pocket like a rocket, yes, huh? Yeah, go to <laughs> GetRoman.com slash million. Listen, man, your first, listen, get so, your first listen, one of swipes for $5. You're saying you all that, basically plan. what he trying to say is, if you want to fuck the leather off your woman's jacket, swipe with Romans. Listen, listen, man. If you're not, if you can't get your piece, can't get right, all you got to do is take a swipe with Romans. That, that, you could have just said all that and that. You hear me? For all you niggas struggling and juggling, 
get your peace right with Romans. Yeah, that's a legend. That's some legend shit, man. Dick fish. You can't even trust Swipe. the dick. Wham. No, uh, listen, at the end of the day, you don't give a fuck what it took the dick to get right long as the dick is right. I right? want to know if you swiped your piece with with a swipe to get hard. I need to know that. Why? So I could buy swipes. So you got what? <laughs> <laughs> so I can have unlimited swipes under the bed. So she she says she want to have unlimited Damn, right you can't the trust bed. these that's, niggas. That's, that's another thing, man. Okay, let's get a million dollars worth of game, man. Mm-hmm. What do y'all think the effect the coronavirus is going to have on the entertainment business? Whoa. Uh, I was speaking to me, myself. It's funny. I was speaking to a manager of a certain artist. Uh, they already lost millions. Right. Millions. For, for shows and all. I'm talking about millions. Multi-millions. For shows, they was going to have a little appearances and all that stuff. Multi-millions. Um, it go both ways because, you know, even when we come back out, Nobody's not going to concerts. Like, it's not like it's going to be like, oh, it's cleared up. And motherfuckers are like, okay, cool. Such and such having a concert. No, niggas like, man, nigga, it's going to be 22,000 people there. No, 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 I'm cool. I'm going to stay at I home. think people going out to party. I think party. people coming out. I think out. people going out to uh, celebrate. Like, they got, you know how when you get out of jail, I think they going out I to celebrate. I think more than happy. usual, yeah. They going to be running out there. Ah! I don't believe that, man. You I just, believe that people, because at the end of the day, you going to tell me that, okay, it's May the 3rd. Okay, it's no more Rona out there. Everybody go, no, it's still the Rona still out there. <laughs> it's still the fuck out there. It ain't that tough. Oh, the Rona out there. Now you all let the Beyonce concert. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single. It'll be oh, hotter oh, oh, oh. and it can't live in heat. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just no, I ain't running to no motherfucking concerts or none of that. I ain't running to be at no motherfucking spot where it's 24,000, 4,000, everybody breathing on top of everybody. I'm, I'm just not doing it. Like, I'm, I, like, I feel out of pocket with you two motherfuckers being this close. Like, we run free. I don't know that. I know you ain't black and mild free. That's the one fucking thing I know. You goddamn your, you ain't. But <laughs> this dude's <laughs> a nut. I enjoy me a black here and there. You're the queen of the mile. But at the end of the day, what do you think? Man? Like, I think it's going to affect a lot. And of I know you ain't nut ass nigga free. Like, listen, that's another story. But I know it's going to affect a lot of uh, entertainers in a major way, man. It affecting Comedians. me. It's going. It's going to affect. It's going to affect. It's going to comedians. Affect, not just that. Uh, uh, the, the places, the the the, uh, the, 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 the venues, the, venues, uh, uh, the, uh, the rappers. Yeah, for sure. The singers. For sure. The the athletes really can't. They ain't gonna be affected. Small businesses because gonna, small athletes business gonna get paid they money regardless. The bartenders, See, the star. I'm just keeping it real. You got rappers out here, right? That these niggas live solely off of show money. Facts. Because they don't make. No fucking money off no records. They're not making no money off no records. Uh, to all your favorite rappers who be, oh, I did a billion streams. Oh, I got my plaques for the billion streams. And all, all that shit is a fucking facade. Okay? How the fuck you know that? Yeah, but, yeah. No, no, no. I'm Fill not, us in. I, I'm not saying that. They didn't do an actual billion streams because they probably did do a billion streams. But all of that is a facade. You did a billion streams, but you didn't make no money off of your record. So what does that mean? You didn't make, when we residuals come in, you, you did a billion streams, but you sold 40,000 records. So you made the you made the company four hundred thousand this week, if that. How Nigga, the they they put triple that into you in marketing. Because if an album go for ten dollars and you did four hundred thousand, you did forty thousand copies this week. Then nigga, you made four hundred thousand. Nigga, it ain't that hard to count. Well, why are you talking about a billion streams? I'm lost. But that that's because you be having. A motherfucker there put a record out. Oh, they put their single out. Oh, my single did a billion streams. It did 300 million streams. It did, oh, you don't be seeing this shit go on. 
all these niggas with these bootleg ass plaques. See, Drake be like, oh, no, 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 my shit did a million records. Right? Kendrick Lamar be like, oh, no, this is my million records plaque. This is my. I don't give, I don't give Explain a Explain the about difference it. between million uh, records and uh, uh, That Please. means a million motherfuckers bought this fucking record. Versus just listening to Not it. just, oh, motherfucker, listen to. No, no, I, I done did some oh, real. I, know I, done, I done did some real motherfucking records out here. I done sold some real. I done sold. Motherfuckers, they love my shit. You got motherfuckers say, okay. You got a motherfucker be like, oh, I did this many million streams, and I might be exaggerating with the billion, but I did this many million streams, and then the album come out, and it's like, you did 41,000 your first week? Wait, hold on. If all of these millions of people was interested in your songs the like deep. this, well, why the fuck you only did 40,000? I'm so confused. you're saying it's fake? I'm not saying it's fake, but I'm not saying it's real. Streams Ooh. and album sales is different. That's all he's right. saying. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That's all so, he's saying. So at the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of motherfuckers out here. Your favorite rappers is surviving off of show money. Yes. That's what I'm saying. And if it ain't no show money, then just expect you to see a lot of niggas doing a lot of funny shit on the gram. Shit they probably, you ain't probably never seen them do. You feel what I'm saying? Like verse discounts and shit like that. Okay. Feel what I'm saying? It's getting tight. Fuck it, you know, fuck it. This month I'm doing, I'm giving out verses for 50% off. It ain't that shit might not necessarily be getting tight. It's just that ain't no fucking money coming There's in. There's no money. It don't mean I still ain't got enough money to be able to survive and do what I need to do, but ain't no fucking money coming in, and I'm used to money coming to fuck it. So niggas might got to readjust their hustles. For sure. That's all. That's all I'm saying. It's a time for readjustment. For Sometimes sure. you got to readjust your hustle. And it, the Miss Million Dollars Worth of Game is... Uh, Brought to you by Death Wish Coffee. Death Wish Coffee is a dark roast blend. This should be having me charged. That has double the amount of caffeine. So, so this shit, hey, you, you know, this shit that charge you up like and six and old and school And the taste is just like regular. You feel it what I'm saying? Taste. With a smooth, bold taste, Death Wish Coffee, Death Wish Coffee will take you up Ooh. and get you ready for the day. It is available in whole bean, ground, and death cups. And cold brew, and it's a cold coffee, so it's not a warm coffee or something. Yo, don't drink it. You're going to be in here. Yeah, fucking bouncing well, slow off the down. Walls, bro. On some That's why I be amped already. Death Wish Coffee is, <laughs> is also, you can crack a can of cold brew with a smooth, strong taste. It packs 300 milligrams of caffeine. So subscribe today and get 10% off your coffee, man. Ship right to your door. Come right to you. Let me tell you something. You can also, when you go online, yes, it's the coffee game, right? We want to help you enter and win a MacBook, MacBook Pro. Pro. All you got to do is go to deathwishcoffee.com backslash game. You hear me? Deathwishcoffee.com backslash game. And you can enter to win a MacBook Pro. A MacBook Pro. You hear me? Deathwish Cold Brew. All types of bar stool merchandise, and a and a year supply of Death Wish coffee for the whole year. All you gotta do, one more time, go to deathwishcoffee.com backslash game. And if you're looking to to just buy some coffee, you you put it backslash game, and you get fifteen percent off your entire purchase with the promo code game. Mm -hmm. Check it out right now, deathwishcoffee.com backslash game game. That's further along a million dollars worth of game, right? Let me ask y'all a question. If we had to boil boil it down to one thing, right? One thing. What's the number one thing right now that's breaking up relationships? Social media. Is it, money. Is it money? Is it sex? Is it parenting or is it social media let me go first real quick 
sex and social media could be the same thing. No, it can't. No. Let, let me just no, say no, this. no, 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 no. Because say I'm this. saying when I say sex, I mean it in relationships. It go like this, and there's gonna be some people sitting back that's going to deny it, but uh, the truth is the truth. In relationships, it go like this: y'all meet in the beginning, y'all fuck like rabbits. I mean, you can come home, get that pussy whenever you want. Best right? part, the beginning. Waker and Baker. Yes. Anytime you want. Even when she talk about, no, no, wait, hold on, baby. Spray and slap. I got to work in the morning. Wait, hold on. You, you slide that dick right through the back door. Oh. Best shit ever. Right, cool. Bam. Then after you get five years in, that shit slow down. You get 10, it slow down. You get to 15 and 20, you lucky if you even smell a pussy anymore. Damn. You feel what I'm saying? Because, it. number one, she done had that dick so many times. She done had that dick 14,691 times. She is not in no rush to have it 14,692. And then, once you get so many years in, everything comes before the dick i gotta drop the babies off i gotta do this well you do i gotta do that oh, i gotta do this bitch promise you something tonight she fall the fuck to sleep that's real yeah you know i mean oh the, i done had two she, she done threatened me tonight it's going, it's going down tonight so you better be ready <laughs> <They go there. laughs> She come the fuck out, got a whole outfit on. Nigga dick harder than Russian Jeopardy. I'm looking at the outfit. <laughs> but you already know when you in a 20 year relationship, it ain't no, they just go put an outfit on. They come out, you get right to busy. No, it, a movie got to come along with this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so now she sit back in a nice outfit. She watched the but movie. But you got to watch it. No, yeah, I'm right. watching the movie. Like you watch the movie together. You sit there, you keep looking over you, you at the titty. Up. Y'all own the <laughs> shit now. <laughs> By the time the fucking movie come, next thing you know, you wake the fuck up. It's seven thirty in the morning. Oh her titty God. hanging out the motherfucking outfit. So she don't even look the same no more. <laughs> yeah, you, messed up. You don't even. You just realizing both of y'all nodded the fuck off during the movie. You didn't even. Damn. Get That's the type of shit you go through when you're twenty years in. Real man. life. So at the end of the day, sex ain't the same as Instagram. Yeah, right. now sure. you want to get back to what you no, talk no, about? You, you definitely right. Social media play just ruin fucking relationships for real. I think the best thing is just to not follow each other, you know, and show each other a little respect. Well, I look at that as disrespect. How you gonna be in a relationship with a woman and not follow her? That's like saying, "Bitch, I want to do my own thing, bitch, and I don't need you in my business." It's easy to get because how we 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 live in the same house and you I don't, don't follow, follow you, but I'm following all these other. But I'm following all, all these sense. other bitches. I don't want you to follow me. What the fuck is you doing? I post then? a lot of shit. I post a lot of ratchet shit. Well, well, you supposed to get with a nigga that understands you. Understand your whole play. That's not supposed trying to get in your to way. All these niggas act like they can handle it, okay? So what you saying is my man from Brooklyn can't handle it with the medium dick from Brooklyn can't handle it. <laughs> what I'm saying what's is. What's his name again? What I'm saying what's, is. What's my man name from Brooklyn? I like to speaking? call him Flatbush. Flatbush. Damn, do you got a Flatbush? No. You got a what I'm saying is, bush. to avoid a lot of conflict, let's just not follow each other, babe. You do what you do, I do what I do. I love you. I do twerk on the gram, though. Shout out to the twerkers. Yeah, I twerk on the gram, and I smoke black and milds. Mm, and I'm a mom. Shout out to the twerkers and the workers. <laughs> well, I mean, some bitches shout out there that's us. working on the gram, too. They selling that pussy. Shout out to y'all, oh, too. Fefe. No, yo, do you think the what's name is going to, is, 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 is it going to be a devastation to the strip to the strip game? And oh, the strip is sure. fucked up. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, they going to be doing about, virtual I'm selling I'm pussy. No, no, that's I'm what's going on right no, now. You got bitches that's stripping on the gram and they got their motherfucking, about, they, they shut, got their they cash app at the bottom. But they For shut, sure. They shutting shit, they shutting shit down. It's DJs right now that's doing sets from home. With their cash apps at the bottom. For sure. For Get sure. My cash app, throw a dollar in my cash app. But let me explain something. Fuck it, I got seven. It's some legendary sets on live. People going to the strip club like that. Is it going to be jumping or is it going to oh, be no, dead? No. I'm going to tell you no. one thing. I'm going to keep, 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 keep it all the way real. One thing, one thing, one thing that, that motherfuckers don't give a fuck about, the Rona at, 
is at the strip club. Niggas gonna go, you, you, nigga, let me tell you something. It's niggas whose dicks been on the shelf <laughs> for so long that they would die before they not go to the strip club. They like, I don't give a fuck if this bitch got the Rona herself. Get the fuck over here. You, you don't understand, bro. You don't <laughs> understand, bro. Shelf. Niggas dicks, it's some corny ass niggas in the world, man. It's niggas that don't know where to begin and start with a bitch. That's true. They don't know to start or the ending with a bitch. So they just leave with their wallet? It, no, it's, it, they don't even know how to even leave with their wallet. Like, they, like, it's niggas that live a whole life, and the only time they ever got some pussy is when it accidentally stumbled across them. Wow. Like, Tragic. it's niggas out here 40, and they might have fucked three bitches in their life, man. Wow. Oh, that, no. That's like a, that's like a Russian roulette game. Oh, that's like, that's like, he's, he's one Russian roulette game away from getting himself out of here, like. That nigga's piece. Maybe he just has standards. That nigga's piece is in the cooler, man. At the picnic, man. His piece on ice. That nigga piece is, is a day soda in the cooler at the picnic, man. If a man is 40 and he only has sex with three women, that means he can't get pussy. What if he has standards? Standards? What if he don't want his dick everywhere? Let me tell you something. It ain't no, it was, let me tell you something. It, it's a time in every young man's life when it's standards is not even an option. <laughs> what are you talking about? When, my, you just be a Viking. Let me tell you something. My son came home with a hot sausage at 19. Standards wasn't an option. You hear me? Blaze the wrong. I said, now see, nigga, you're lucky you only got that hot sausage and she ain't put that fucking monkey on your back. Whoa. Now see, ain't no coming back from the monkey. House in Virginia. You feel what I'm saying? Now, you know, she gave you a little cooked up sausage. What part of Virginia was the house in, though? I'm just saying, you said a house in Virginia. HIV. No, but you said, I understand. That means house in Virginia, but where is it in Richmond? Is it in Norfolk? What part of Virginia is the fucking house? And I heard people say that. We have but to nobody that up said, to the Virginia people. They know. I don't know. Shout out to Virginia. Yeah, it's on I, Virginia Beach. We're all the freaks. Oh, that's nice. You know what I mean, but what I'm, so basically. Ain't what, Pharrell and them from there? Yeah. Tell you, tell Let me tell, so basically, what, what's the number one reason people is breaking up in relationships? Is it money? Is it sex? Is it parenting or is it Instagram? And I'm talking about in today's society. Oh, parenting right is something major too, because motherfuckers snap about their kids. For it sure. Seemed like, it seemed like a lot of people, like 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 a lot of people, snap about their kids, especially about that. Be the main beef, especially when it split up. It seemed like that's when people. Were, I hate this. I, I, he be like, damn, you mad at her like that? I'm just gonna have my kid gonna leave it with a mom and I, and and he going she going back about him. He don't do nothing for his kids. It's like that be causing the split sometimes too, because mm -hmm. people don't be in the kid's life or whatever it might because be. Because if you got a good dad, the kid. if you got a good dad and your baby mom a raggedy bitch, oh that just no. But what about if you, you the baby uh, dad is a raggedy? The, the, vice versa, but but see, it's, but see, it's, it what's so crazy is that I'm not gonna say it, it's less, but but women is so used. To dealing with raggedy Nick baby baby dads like oh this nigga so when you got a, a dad who gotta take control of his kids like no I gotta they gotta they gotta be in the custody of me fuck that it's like that's like damn like your baby mom that fucked up that the, you you gotta take the kids like you feel what I'm saying because it I don't know how it is for you but for the most part. If the mom and the dad break up, it's damn near just a written rule yeah, to stay that with the, the mom. kids is going with the mom. Like right. if you got a, 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 if a mom is worth anything, she's not the nigga. She will die before she let them fucking kids go with you, nigga. What the fuck you mean? No, be mama, around, mama, be around, around, nigga. You could that's come how see you know how many how much pressure it is on as a mom. You could come see your kids whenever the fuck you want, but these kids dropped out of this pussy. They going with me. Yeah. Nigga, I, I ain't going to hold you from your kids, but you think the kids going with you, nigga, and I, I'm coming to visit the kids? No. Not going to happen. So at the end of the day, when you got a dad who got to say, you know what, my, my motherfucking baby mom is so fucked up that I got to take this bitch to court and air out all the fucking smutty, buddy, and dirty, down low, <laughs> gritty shit she do in court so that I could get my fucking kids. That kind of be like, damn, your baby mom ain't shit like it's that. How many safe girlfriends to say did you have? Soon. How many? No, this is a good question for you. How many girlfriends did you have that that they used the kid 
as a way to get at the father? I won't say friends, but I've seen it. I have a lot of male friends that go through that with their um their baby moms. Like I know, I you get dads get a lot of shit, but I know some real good fathers, like real good fathers, and hey. some people don't um. Shout out to the real dads. Some people don't know how to really split up, so it's like when you talking about you moving on and you getting a new bitch, that's like a bitch first. Is that a beef? That's yeah. the first thing I want my daughter around Keisha. That's the first thing. Don't let her touch her. I don't want her to see her. Who will touch her? And listen, mom to mom, let that little girl go over there. If, if your baby father would allow somebody to hurt your child, you wouldn't have had a baby by that nigga. Let that little girl go over there and get you a break. Send them nappy head kids over there. Let that girl do your children's hair. Don't oh, be so petty. That. You can't know. Oh, they you can't, can't touch her hair. Her. You can't feed her. You can't do shit. Don't uh, give her no food. She can't. Like, you go poison a baby. Like, try to go against the narrative. We don't have to all be enemies. We can all be family. Let me Will Jada question. and uh, why, why Will's first. Why do women first? make beef with other women that they don't have a problem with? Come on. First of all. I'm just saying. First of all, the other side of that is a woman to fuck your man and follow you on Instagram. A woman to fuck your man. And come hang where you hang. A woman to fuck your man and sit in the hair salon, same hair salon as you. It's deep. Sometimes it looks like you just attack the other bitch when the other bitch was attacking you. You know what's deep about that? I got to tell you a story. I'm not putting nobody out there, right? But uh, somebody had paid me for some like counseling one time. They came to kick it with me, right? And uh, she she didn't know me. She, I met her on Instagram. She's like, I want to pay. I just need somebody to talk to. They don't know me. I seem like a you like your mind is open. I can talk to you. She came, went down down to a nice restaurant, and the shit she told me, I said, she said, listen. I, I just need somebody to tell us. I can't tell it to my girlfriends and all this and that. Third, what you think I should do? And she was a hairstylist. She was fucking. She was fucking two of her clients' men. One was married to the boy, and one was and one was just her boyfriend. Bitch, oh. I kill you. Listen, listen, so listen. She was getting this. She's like, "What you think I do?" I said, "Listen, what they gonna do? They gonna murder you." Bitch. If they ever Damn. find out, they gonna murder. You. She doing these two girls' hair, and she fucking one of the one girl husband and one of the boyfriends. Bitch, I'll kill you. I see, yo. The bitch that made this so, wig so right here. So why you saying that? Why you saying that? I will kill real. you, yo, what bitch. Is it, what, listen, what, what is it? What is it? Like, to go back, right, and somewhere else outside of that. Talk about the single mom and the struggle with a single mom. And can you say some words to encourage that mom that's looking at this? That listen, single moms are their dads, their counselors. Right now, you a fucking nurse. You checking these, you checking these, these, these children's fevers every five minutes, praying they don't get the rona. It's hard on the moms, and it, it, I feel like the dads. You need to do a little more support. You might can't come in and out right now, but you can Facetime them kids and do some work. All the schools sending home laptops, so now mom has to be a teacher. That sucks. It's hard, but it's like, what else you going to do? That's the thing about being a mom. You don't have another choice because 24-7, they need you, and that's what a dad wouldn't understand. When that kid wakes up in the middle of the night vomiting, whatever gross thing a kid is going through, the mom goes through that. The mom knows the favorite snack. The mom knows the favorite show. The custodial, the custodial parent, the parent that has the child all the time, that's the parent that has it the hardest. So, yeah, moms have it fucking rough. And quarantine means we locked in with these fuckers together all of us i know if i was a kid i'd have been driving my mom fuck crazy oh right i'd oh. enjoy you know what i did i locked myself in the basement lock yourselves in another room and let them let them fuck the house up give it up fuck it let them fuck the house up there's nothing How else you, you could do that? lock the fucking door i mean my, well now my kids grown so it's like my kids is like they to the point where i don't even really even see them talib be in the basement my, my daughter's in her room lucky they they got their bump boxes dumping he down there writing raps. Me and two, you know, we trapped in our cell in the bedroom. You know, we might watch six movies and fuck three times a day. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? That sounds good. Yeah, I mean, we get right back. You know, every time that dick get up, you got to get it down. Every like, time I'm told you on the phone, y'all argue. And then it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> argue. Yo, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, man, I call me, call me back, man. This is what we do all day. We watch movies, we argue, and we fuck. That sounds all great. All day. Just all day long because... We two, we've been around each other too long. It's like, see, me and two, one thing about us, right? Even though we've been together for a long time, me and two don't spend the majority of our days together. Right. Because I got shit to do, she got shit to do. You feel what I'm saying? So, and sometimes a break is the best thing that can happen for a relationship right. as far as keeping it together long. But when you just on top of a motherfucker all day, Too just, much. Ah. And that's everybody right now locked in together with that motherfucker every it's like, you know, day. From time to time, all you know, day. she might call me something, I might call her something. It was a time I ain't even going to hold you. And I, I'm, I'm going to send you the invoice because I never built you in two. 
Weird though. I used to be like I used to be like the fucking mediator in them. When especially when I first came home, I ain't had no girl none of that. I'm just roaming around and shit. And I for some reason we used to it used to just be us three on fucking going out to eat and all this crazy Poor shit. Too. No, I'm because a, at the end of the day because at the end of the day, right, the one thing women are try to do is control you, man. They want you. They want to fucking control you. That is not true. It is is the absolute. Y'all want to do absolute. Absolute. Y'all Women want to. Women want to help. Like no, t- prime example. T- two to be like, hum, babe, I bought you some cake. Go ahead, eat it. It's like no, I want to eat it right I, now. I, I, that's no, that's fucking no real right there. I don't want no cake. That pisses me. It'll be like two minutes later. It'll be like. Taste it. You don't want to eat the cake? Just take a piece. It's I don't like, want to. You know, so I don't want to eat the fucking that. cake. It's like, like you they kids sometimes. Why can't you just no fuck? That is the right most now. irritating like, thing a man can do. Cake. But then it'll be like, they won't have an attitude, but they got an attitude. Yep. It's like, Cause you don't eat the eat fucking cake. No, I'm not I'm not eating the cake, anime. Are you not eating the cake because you know she wants you to eat the cake, or are you not no. eating the cake because you don't want the cake right no, now? I don't, exactly. I don't want fucking cake right but now. But you got to eat it because they You want have to eat it. Right. If I nah. bring you a fork to your mouth and you don't eat what's on that fork, I will lose my shit. And yeah, see, that's the, That's the, crazy women shit. Open control. your mouth. That's fucking control. That's, eat the that's cake. That's fucking control. That's not control. That's control. I want you to that's try this cake. That's control. Almost every time you try the cake, you love the cake, don't you? No, I, I, it, it's my favorite cake, but I don't want it right now. I'm gonna just say this right now, and it seems like uh, I know everybody probably is going all the men out there. Is it? I'm gonna just say this. It seems like everybody, women out there, from what I've been talking to dudes, it's like everybody, woman is turning into a correctional officer in the house now. During the quarantine time, do this, do that. Are you? It's just like they telling you everything to fucking to do. Right. If your woman's a mom, she's in mom mode. Sometimes you have to shake yourself out of fucking, mom mode to me. Well, you have right. to be able to turn that on and off, fellas. That's hard. Let me ask y'all a question. What's the top? And y'all act like what, baby. What's the top five hood meals of all time? Oodles and noodles. Hot dogs and baked beans. Oodles and noodles. Hot dogs and baked beans. Uh, Spaghetti. Spaghetti, oodles and noodles, hot dogs and baked beans. P and J. P B and P. Oh, peanut butter and jelly. That's four. How y'all not going to say Sloppy it? Joe. Fuck no, no. Fuck no. Ain't nobody had no fuck ground no, beef. No, no, like fuck sloppy, sloppy Joe. Joe. Ground beef was suspicious. Uh, How y'all sloppy not going to say Lunch meat. Lunch meat sandwiches. Nobody no. had lunch meat growing up. Cr- no. I never had lunch meat. How y'all not going to say a motherfucking chicken wing platter from the Chinese store? No, rice and gravy. Remember $5 platters? How y'all not gonna say with the day soda? Dog, how you not gonna say a chicken wing platter with the fried rice from the Chinese? But everybody store? got oodles and noodles though, cuz everybody, everybody didn't have Chinese store money. Grilled cheese, no, bro. What? You no. know what I mean? People had the welfare cheese bro. that were slicing that shit. And, uh, what? Bro, no. so you telling me everybody growing up in the hood, everybody growing up in that motherfucker hood ain't eat egg rolls? They eat shrimp rolls. They Four wings and fried rice. That. Yeah. Yo, that was more was, of a treat. A egg roll, egg rolls was 75 cent. Oodles and noodles was cheaper than that. I'm just saying. Oodles and noodles with some hot sauce, you was a legend. Yeah. But egg rolls Garlic and, powder. and shrimp rolls. That, all and, your seasoning in the cabinet. Garlic and all powder. All that shit was still, it still got to be on the list. The fried rice from the Chinese store. Everybody ate out the Chinese store. The Chinese store raised niggas. The Chinese store definitely raised people. Uh, Number one would have to be oodles and noodles. Then I'm going to go hot dogs and baked beans. Number one is not oodles and noodles. Number and spaghetti one, for one sure. Is hot dogs and baked beans. That's a meal. Macaroni and soy sauce. That was a meal that your mama made for dinner. Mama's never sat you down. Not the real mama. Serve sandwiches. If your mom been to jail, she might have made you all a big chichi. Serve sandwiches. Child to smush and mina. Serve sandwiches is not the top five. I'm not meals. saying it's in the top five, but we just throwing yes, the meals I out there. That shit I never no, ate. That's crazy. I ain't serve. I ain't serve. No. Say this to Mona. That's sad. He's never so, you, so, so, so you mean to tell me you never in your life had put some some two slices of Stroman bread in the toaster, right? When it came out, you smothered the butter on it and then put some syrup on top. No. No nope. fucking liar. No, which name is Mona? You're so black and miles. I growing knew up, goddamn well up. you had a goddamn syrup sandwich before. So apple butter so. sandwiches was mine. Cause Ew, apple, apple butter's butter. gross. No, That's apple gross. Butter. I never had no apple That's butter. disgusting. And the little muffins you used to have? I toast it's apple butter. Apple butter's and Bread all. and butter did it. All right, now let's get the top five. We got to get the top five. We got to come to this. Beans and ru- beans and hot dogs. Before beans and hot dogs, because everybody had meat in the crib. Spaghetti. Meat was meat. Listen. Beans and hot dogs. You tripping. I'm going to say hot dogs and beans. 
Oodles and noodles. Oodles and noodles. And noodles. Spaghetti. 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 P and J. Peanut butter Peanut and jelly. jelly. And the anything from the Chinese store. Oh, that's it. That'll work. Cereal. Cereal is a go. Cereal got to be Not cereal. 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 Because you know that motherfucker eat that all day in the hood. Yeah. Yeah. That was you know, definitely said, dinner. So that got to be the top five. Hot dogs and baked beans. Oodles and I'm putting hot dogs and I'm putting oodles and noodles first. Oodles and noodles, hot dogs and baked beans, spaghetti, because you eat that shit all week. Yeah, spaghetti lasts long. Do you mix the spaghetti up or do you have it separate? No, you got to mix it up. You got to like mix it up. Hood rule. Because you mix it up and then when you reheat it in the mic or you reheat it the next day, it, the flavor come it come alive. When you sugar, no it. sugar. Everybody sugar. put sugar in there. Yes. Bring down the I'm glad we it. all in. Okay. We put, sugar, we put the sugar in there. Yeah. All right, man. Let's get into million dollars worth of game. Me, me, me. Million dollars worth of game is brought to you by Manscaped. One thing y'all got to understand is this. This is real important about right now, April is, I'm talking about April is a real important month for the for that area where the Manscaped operate most of the time. Listen, testicular cancer. Listen, this is testicular cancer awareness month, right? I'm talking about, we're talking about the sack. We're talking about the balls area. It's a, it, you, got a, you got a month doing it, you know what I mean? Basically, whereas though they bring an awareness about what goes on down there in the sack. Sometimes things don't go right. You see what I'm saying? And uh, did you know one, I'm talking about, listen, one guy every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer. Mm. So this is a reminder to all of the men listening to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Obviously, you got to check. The, no, straight up, you got to check your situation. But but yeah. see, listen, listen. And one thing I like about Manscaped, this one thing, this is why I'm glad I use Manscaped to stay clean down there, to, you know, from, as my lawnmower to mow my law down there because Manscaped, <laughs> in addition to providing the right tools and solutions for safe and easy Manscaping, they has partnered, they partnered up with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Listen, man, this is very important, man. You got to understand this. Together, I mean, the Techler, I mean, I mean <laughs> hold up, man. This is, well, I, I like to say, because you know what I usually say, the SAC. The SAC, the SAC Cancer Society. I'm not trying to switch their thing up, but that, that's what I would, you know, would like to say. And Manscaped are committed to raising awareness, I mean, for the most common form of cancer in men age 15 and 35 giving support for fighters survivors and families impacted by testicular cancer as part of we save balls initiative meaning they're going to save your balls right like they're trying to they're trying to just build the way saving your nuts is important that's important like a lot of people don't understand this and that's why and, and that's what listen what's so important is while you're down there cleaning your sack why not go ahead and give them a little investigation like you take your joint for that lump the, you know what i mean the changes in size or pain Ooh, all this stuff there. No, you got to do that. Like All people, right. we we laugh, and sometimes as men, we scared to we scared to do the health thing. We don't want to get checked up. We don't want to go to the. To, it's necessary that you take care not just your mental health, your body. You got to take care of yourself and get checked. Go get tested. Make sure you don't and do your own personal checks. You can look it up online. You go to the the ball sack. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Cancer Society, a.k.a. Oh. Testicular Cancer. No, I'm just saying Testicular Cancer Society. Check yourself out. But one thing about the lawnmower 3.0. Listen, man, it's the, listen, inside the perfect package, you'll find, elect, I'm telling you, you get the trimmers, you get the lawnmower 3.0, I'm talking about it's waterproof, skin safe technology, will protect you from making, from nicking your sack and making that cut. You know how you, you know how you used to use razors and all that, you used to clean up with razors, but so once- where you get it at? Listen, what do you mean, where you get it at? You go to Manscaped, manscaped.com, man. And you know, you go there, you get that, and it's a, it's a game changer, man. And the thing about it is, what I like is get 20% off free shipping with the code GAME at manscaped.com. 20% off free shipping. Use the code GAME at manscaped.com. And one thing about this is, listen, learn more about, text, about the ball sack cancer, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> screening, testicular cancer, screening at manscaped.com slash we save balls. Okay. And that's we with a, with, a, with a slash right there. I mean, I'm, I'm with a dash. We dash save dash balls. Share the educational video to help save lives in balls. And you can also get 20% off free shipping with the code GAME at manscaped.com. That 20% off at manscaped.com with promo code GAME. Your balls will thank you later. Man, that's what's up, man. Give it up for manscaped.com. Yes. That's just like a, a like a promo you've been running for, for years now. Though. No, because you know why? I like, listen, man, you got to be I clean. Because you had the We Save Balls program going on in the prison. Nah, yeah, wow. 
Yeah. Why are you going? Why are you you going? seem take passionate about balls. Take that smut off my name, man. See, see, you kept it going, even out here, huh? Yeah, take that smut off my name, you man. Save the balls in the prison. You run around everybody's cell checking me, check your balls for No, lumps. get out of here. Look at you. you wow. You check listen, your nuts man, that's for lumps. something. Listen, I really think you're curious about the other side of the game. I know you're curious. I'm just saying. I'm going to talk to Gina, man. I'm just saying what you had going on in the prison, dog. I'm telling the campaign that you had going on in the prison. I'm going to just say this, we man. We save nuts. You seem everybody, super passionate everybody, about balls. Nuts. Everybody out there. That that you know what I mean is that that see like the, we save your balls campaign. He was going from cell to cell. I'm, I'm doctor. You do Dr. seem Wallace. super passionate about. No, balls. you know what I mean. People I see on the streets. Yeah, see, that, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. People loves. I see on the streets from oh the LGBT community that ask me about Gil. Like, damn, what's this That's whole what's thing? I, I fuck with the LGBT. No, they ask me about it community. like like on the plug up tip. Like, okay, plug I, what's, what's, I, what, what's it? The LGBTQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what's yeah. The, all the letters? But I mean, I don't know all of this. The LG. PTQ community, right? No P. LGBT. Q. Okay, Q. shout out yes. to him. And like, sometimes why? Know, they, you know, this is me and I was worth a game where we don't do no judging. No judging. That's we right. play around, you know, we, you know, we, we joke, we have fun, but we don't do no judging. You feel what I'm saying? So let's get into me and I was worth a game, man. I just want to say this. The coronavirus is going on right now. We in the middle of a pandemic. And as you look on the news, niggas is still getting shot. Niggas ain't even supposed to be outside. And niggas is still shooting niggas. Like, how, how is niggas, like the only time we supposed to go outside is when we go into the supermarket. So I'm confused, like, how do you get into a shootout on the way to get taller paper, man? Damn. And paper plates, man. And backwoods and shit. Like niggas is out here, niggas, mamas, sisters, uncles, cousins, daughters, sons, nephews, nieces is catching a crazy virus right now that's wiping out motherfuckers all over the world. And in black America in the hood, we keep seeing motherfuckers on Instagram putting up rest in peace pictures. Damn, how you go out like this? What the fuck is the matter with us, man? Want some real shit? Like, like we, 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 black people, and then we get all, then we get all emotional when we critical about each other and the dumb shit that we do. We keep talking, fuck everybody else. Fuck with it. And I'm not saying it in a bad way, but I'm just saying it like, stop blaming life and all this other shit on everybody. We got to really self-check our motherfucking self. Right. How the fuck is we putting up rest in peace posters during a pandemic about a motherfucker getting shot? Somebody, right. we out here shooting each other. Right. Like during this time right now where people supposed to be checking on their mothers and grandmothers and making sure people cool in the family, but we got time to be out there doing violent dumb shit in the hood. Like think about that. We right. always black, oh, this is happening. I can't get a job. I can't do this. I can't do this. But nobody never, we blame everybody else, but nobody right. ever take the time and say, what the fuck is the matter with us? Right. Like Dang. you got, like think about that though. A motherfucker like, come on, man. Niggas is shooting niggas doing some shit we ain't never seen in the history of the history of, of fucking of, life. Of, of life. Ever. We ain't never seen no shit like this. And we everybody's supposed to be in survival mode and niggas still got on they in their mind that damn they I can't even wait till this shit over before I get my, my revenge or before I this shit crazy, man. So my million dollars worth of game today was just telling everybody, man, watch your surroundings, man. Be safe out there, man. Because and where we come from, we ain't just fighting the coronavirus. We fighting the I dome your virus. Because these niggas are doming the shit out you and leave you out there on the ground with your, with your seeds and knocked out your fucking and watermelon. I, and, man. and it just fucks me up, man. It just fucks me up because it's like, yo, bro, like, what the fuck is you doing, man? Like, like, like one thing about us, man, hurt, like I always say, hurt people hurt people. And it's like, we fucking hate each other. Black people, like, we fucking hate each other so much. Mm -hmm. It's like, for what? Like, mm -hmm. we fucking hate each other. Mm -hmm. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, but it's like, we always find a way to hate each other. Rather, it's about a motherfucker win. If you winning and you doing anything in life, I'm not mad at you. You're showing me a way because I come from the struggle that you come from. Right. I don't have to be upset with you. If somebody put their success up, it's always got to be a smart comment. Somebody always got to say something. Right. Somebody always got... And we don't, we don't know how to look at each other and be encouraged by the journeys that motherfuckers take. Right. Like, we don't know how to do that. We right. always mad at each other. Like, we, you got to understand. Right. You, you, you got motherfuckers that don't even get back, right? I got a million followers. You got damn near 700,000 followers. We take time, go through all these niggas' pages, select niggas, show niggas love, post niggas up. 
And then the first thing niggas, the comments niggas say is, Damn, you ain't post such and such up. You ain't post this person up. Damn, how you forget this person? Damn, why you ain't show this person that some love? Shit. Instead of being happy for the niggas that did get some love and feeling like, damn, hopefully I'm on the next wave when these niggas young post men, niggas up. Young men in the ghetto, don't compete with me, eat with me. Don't shoot a nigga, salute a nigga. Talk Straight up, heavy. don't shoot a nigga, salute a nigga. It's so much more easy, easy and you'll save so much time because what's happening is all y'all doing is deteriorating your family. Y'all fucking your family up. When you go out there and you commit a crime, you fucking your family up because most of the dudes that's in a criminal, that lifestyle, you don't have no fucking money None. to pay for a defense, None. to pay for a lawyer, to None. pay for... Con you None. don't have no fucking money and it's coming from a dude that's telling you by experience. You, how the fuck is you out? Dudes is out there committing crimes and you destroying your family because now your child mother, that money she got to send you to commissary, that's taken from your daughter or your son. Right. The money she got to pay for a lawyer, that's taken from your daughter, your son, or your grandma, or whatever. Right. The what money the you could be bringing to the table because you on the streets and providing for your kids as a man, that's taken away. So let me tell y'all something, man. Tighten up out here, man. Black hate is the number one destroyer. One minute, Mona. Black hate is the number one destroyer of black people. Absolutely. The number one. That black fucking hate. Uh -huh. That hate. And do you know what's so crazy about it today as black people? We so motherfucking crazy with the hate shit that we try to dress hate up. We try right. to put a costume on right. hate and try to make it other than we what it is. It's fucking hate. hate. And we try to decorate hate and say, oh, no, because of this. Because of this. Listen, black people, stop hating on each other, man. On right. some real shit. Stop killing each other. Stop being in competition with each other. Stop worrying about what somebody the fuck else is doing. Focus on yourself. Focus on right. your family. Focus on building your community. Everybody not going to fuck with each other. Right. That's cool. But focus on that. Bring some stop more positivity. Stop being mad man. at niggas because they be don't post you on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. That's the number one thing. Uh, Black man, people, stop being. No, they ain't post me, man. You niggas yeah. sound like hoes, man. Motherfuckers worry about. niggas act like bitches, man. It's crazy, man. You niggas acting like ho you a whole ho out here, man. You worrying about what another nigga do on his on his platform, man. Stop worrying about that shit, man. A real nigga understand that shit ain't gonna make me or break me, man. I got still got it. I still got a journey that I gotta travel, man. Everybody be worrying about the post, the repost, the like, the share. The, Put that, your fucking that, grind. That, Get to do your point, grind to the point where you feel like I feel like I'll be looking down, going down Instagram. I might see some shit I I like. I won't even like that shit in comment because a like in a comment turns into post that up for me, OG. Damn, I can't just like your shit, nigga, and comment, nigga. If I wanted to post your shit, God would have put me put that on my fucking heart to post your shit. But now I got I gotta uh, do I even want to do this because this gonna turn into a oh shit, Gilly like my shit. Post that for me, OG. Oh, God ain't put that on my heart to post that for you today, young nigga. I do it when it's on my heart, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I do it when, when I feel like I want to do it. Not when you feel like you want me to do it. You don't determine how to fuck my, I run my business. So that be the main thing that niggas get caught up with. You feel what I'm saying? Then, then, then. Then you, you show them some love. It's never enough. That love is only going to last as long as them likes and them comments. As soon as they run out, niggas don't remember when you did nothing for them. That's in life in general. In the hood, no, or I can't do it at the time. You know what that means to another? That means fuck you. Right. That means it, it activate hate in a motherfucker. I right. can't do this for you. I can't do this. It, it, it just get crazy in our hood. In the hood? Oh my God, you can't tell a motherfucker, no, I can't do this. You could do something for a motherfucker a thousand times. Tell a motherfucker, no, I can't do it at the moment. That activate that hate button in them. Because a lot of people, it's just, it's just, hate, hate a lot of times be genetic. Sometimes people mother would have hated, their father was a hater. It's just when you grow up in, mm -hmm. a, in, a, in that environment of hate and it genetically hits you and motherfuckers it just Niggas be hating. Niggas grandmoms was hating on Martin Luther King, but I ain't marching with that motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga, it don't matter. So, you know what I mean? Your grandma was a hater. Your grandfather was a hater. It's just a lot. You just come from a long, that's in your genetics, man. You know what I mean? Let's get into, let me ask y'all a question. Let's get into the segment of who would you be. We ain't did this in a minute, right? Would you be, the, would you be homeless for five years? Would you be in a mental hospital for five years? Or would you do three and a half years in prison? Fuck that. I, you already know what I'm doing. You know I'm talking yeah, about you from the mental rip. hospital. No, no, no. Fuck get, no. I'm staying homeless. You need to get right. I'm staying homeless because I can make it happen. 
I got a shot. I could do something. Like no, but you got to you got to be homeless for five yeah. years straight. Yeah. Oh, that could, that ain't that bad. I'm not going yeah. to jail. You going I'm to not jail? Going to, going to jail. You fucking crazy. It's the shortest amount. It's the shortest amount of time. No, it's three years. See, no, oh, I'd rather be out here in the free world, sleeping, sleeping in parks and shit, and sleeping in the woods and all that type of shit. Because I'm an outdoorsman, but I'm not going to fucking <laughs> no mental hospital because you got to take medication and that shit fuck you up. I'm cool. I mean, I'm not saying anything wrong. No, with people no stuff, insane asylum for me. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. What you going to do? I'm, I'm definitely being homeless because one thing I know, I know that if once I go homeless, two coming with me, she going to be homeless too. So no, two, uh, no, 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 no. You can't take there. nobody with you. You got to be homeless saying, by yourself. I'm, I'm you can't. So you and Tootie going to be with the sign up with the chain. Yeah, you fucking right. First of all, two, go, first of all, two to a, a beautiful girl. So she definitely going, I'm going to sit back and get her to sign. She can do the panhandle. She yeah. going to rack the handle up, huh? What's going to be on her sign? Uh, homeless with dog. No, no, no. Her sign going to be uh, lost everything overnight. Please help me get back on my feet. They going to be tipping the shit out too. Right. Then she don't look for Well, you going to be behind that. You going to be behind that. She don't look like she on drugs, so they going to be like, damn, she really, yeah, she, yeah, they going to be, and I'm just going to be sitting back. So you, so you pimping, you pimping to the homeless. Y'all home, you a homeless pimp then. Cause you ain't doing it, you just no, collecting no, the cause, money. No, no, because see, when two two tired, you know, I, I just know two. What's your sign gonna say? I, listen, I, I'm dead, cracked, smacked, fucked up. Help me get back. You hear me? <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? I ain't on drugs. I ain't never did crack. I ain't never did none of that. And I'm I'm having be out there, my eyes wide open. Hard time. I'm be like this. Yeah. Hard time. Dot com. I'm be like this. Real talk. Every, and every time motherfucker give me money, I'm be like, man, I appreciate you, my nigga. I ain't on drugs or nothing, my nigga. You know what I mean? I'm just fucked up. I'm dead pop. People go through hard times sometimes, but I'm going to see you at the top, though. They're going to be like, no. That I nigga. hate a homeless but nigga listen, with a speech. But listen, they're going to be like, that nigga ain't They're going to think you running game. Like, no, they're going to be like, no, they're going to see my eyes clear. I'm be like this. I ain't on drugs or nothing, man. My house burnt down to the ground. You know what I'm saying? I lost, uh, and, I, I, and then I'm a hustler, so I thought, man, I lost my kids and everything in that joint. But you know, I'm gonna bounce back. I'm gonna be all right, man. You know what I mean? God got me. I wow. Yeah, I threw my kids in there. Oh, what? You lost your kids? <laughs> <laughs> you lied. He lied. See, he lied. You fucking right. My kids are in college, but not on when I'm out there. Because let me tell you something. If you could finesse them, you could. It's, it's about the finesse. Do you, you feel what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. All them niggas that's holding up them army veteran signs, them a lot of them niggas be finessing. They just know that it's motherfuckers out here that oh see they can for the vets, you yeah. see and damn they fucking. Army. No, I pull they up and tell them, listen, let me take you to the to the uh, to the VA. I like the, the guys that say I just want a beer, and I give you a dollar for a beer. Just be honest, I yeah, want some crack. You say that. Yeah, I like the honest homes people. Look, like I just want a cold beer, man. It's hot as shit. I can't help me. Yeah, I'm just the design like, well, straight. I, I want to get drunk. Help. So I'm definitely <laughs> being homeless. Jail. I'm gonna be homeless. You just want to go back to jail because you think big, but you think Free daddy pops. gonna be there. Shout out to pops. Pop still locked up. I don't know where she, she is. DM me. She keep looking for pops. Pops from pops Southeast pop DC. Ass. Pops changed her life. Pops lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. You hear me? Mm-hmm. All right, man. Let's get into uh. You already know what this is. Stories from the cell. Stories from the cell. See, one thing about jail is this. What you got to understand is this. I really didn't know going into jail. I didn't have no true plans when I first went of coming out a different person. When you go to jail, you got all these stories and you hear stories from the cell, but stories from the yard be different. See, if you got a family member in prison, I got to tell you something. Talk to them and check their temperature. When I say check their temperature, their conversation can change rare as time go by. And sometimes if you hear their conversation changing, it's about them yard, the stories from the yard. Stories from the yard is different, meaning like you might have a cellmate or you might have somebody that you might know or somebody, because a lot of times when people come to jail, somebody mm -hmm. might know Gil, be like, yo, man, I was out there with your cousin. That's my mm -hmm. man. So I might start walking the yard with him, kicking it with him every day because they telling me about the free world. But a lot of times people in prison, believe it or not, they be impressionable. And them stories from the yard can change it and it can shape a person into who they want to be with. Like you might be walking with a stick up boy, you might be walking with a drug dealer, you might be walking with somebody that was a thief. Right. And if they telling you about their lifestyle so much and your mind and your pores is open and you're not firm about what's changing your life or doing something different, you'll be in jail trying to be a smarter criminal. Mm -hmm. And I know that's oxymoronic. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a criminal but I got smarter. So you'll be messed up 
and a lot of people don't understand and they just be like damn wow why is it that i'll be like listen let me explain something to you that's very important i was a dude going into jail not really knowing that i was going to come out and be what i am i just was going in to, to, to try to because it jail for real for real became a part of my life because like I told you, when I was young, my OG Warren told me, you going to jail or somebody gonna put you down, you sure you wanna be a part of this lifestyle? I was like, cool. I didn't run back to jail because I wanted to be there. I just, I just didn't have no fear of prison because I got used to it in mm-hmm. an aspect where there wasn't no threat. You couldn't threaten me with jail. Like, so it was like, while I'm out here, I'm gonna take some money, I'm gonna make some shit happen. And that was the mindset that I got in. A lot of these cats out here now, they never been to prison, but a lot of people make prison look cool because you listening to it in a rap by somebody that's rapping about prison and never fucking went to jail. Hmm. So and let they, me ask you a question. Because you said a nigga couldn't, you know, back then when you was 20, 17, 15, 16, a motherfucker couldn't scare you with jail. No, they couldn't scare me with juvenile jail. Yeah. But when I went to the penitentiary, I was scared going into the print. Because like, yeah. I thought everything was on the line. My ass, my life, I'm just being straight up. Mm-hmm. But like a lot of people, a lot of people, you get comfortable and you be like, certain people, they be like, I already know when I go to jail, my homie up there, I'm gonna get to pay, I just done a third, what's the name gonna send me money? It become a comfortable thing because a lot of times our family members, the homies and everybody, a lot of people, they enable us. So we already know jail is nothing now. Mm-hmm. And I was one of them dudes growing up where it was nothing because every time I hit the pen, I know certain people and it's like, I know every, I know everybody in jail because I, was, I grew up in a system to where though, no matter what jail I went to, whatever, juvenile, whatever, it's gonna be somebody that I know, they're gonna look out there, wow, here, give me care package. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I know my way, I know how to move. This is like, you know how to move in North Philly, you know how to move in the streets. This jail was the same thing for me. Mm-hmm. So, but when I went there as a young, when I went to the penitentiary, I'm just going there, and I was fascinated at the beginning of the shit I was told by the deep, the niggas that was ripping it on another level, the, the, time, the thieves or the different type of people that was doing all types of shit. But it took a time for me to get out of that mind frame and me to start opening up because them stories in the yard can really shape you. And at the same time, your family member might tell you I'm coming home, but listen to their conversation and see how it could sway. It could sway from I'm coming home to be a rapper to I'm coming home. Yeah, man, I, I mess some people, man. I got to connect my people out Cali. Cali, mm. nigga, you ain't never leave Philadelphia. You, you ain't never leave New York. What you talking about California? Mm-hmm. No, as soon as I come home, I got to go meet some people. So that mean he talking to somebody in there and they telling them some bullshit mm-hmm. and then they got dreams to be a kingpin. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm coming out there. And then and then the conversation, yeah, I ain't fucking with nobody. I'm on another level. Like in jail, people go crazy and don't even fucking know it. Mm-hmm. But you can hear it through the conversation because mm-hmm. people go black out. You know what I mean? Everything will be crazy. Like a motherfucker called, like I remember one more study. He was massively in love with the mother of his child, but every time he called, his whole thing was a flex off. Like, he come home, yeah, I'm just coming home. I ain't fucking with nobody. I'm moving out Miami. Just said, she like, why are you moving out of here? No, I'm just, I got a shit. I'm doing. I'm cool. But this was his way of being passive aggressive with the mother of his child and trying to be on some slick shit. Mm-hmm. Because he in jail, he really hurt because he loved her. She moved on. But he trying to flex on her through phone calls. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I done made some connects, man. I'm out of here. This is the third year. I'm going to take care of my kid. I mean, he come back in the cell. This is the third. I'm like, yo, bro, you said you off it. Why you still got a picture under your bunk? Right. Every day you, you looking at it just that third, you trying to get back with it because it's fucking you up. Mm-hmm. But somebody to convince you can walk in the yard that now you're going to be a kingpin and you're going to be getting all this fucking money. And a lot of times dudes had all these ideas in jail and them, and them stories from them stories from the yard to fuck you up because the dude would be telling you, yeah, your boy's out there rolling. Your boy's might not be there when you get home. Right. And you just start having all this shit that you gonna come home, you mm-hmm. promising your kids, you promising baby girl, yeah, you know when I get home, this time the third, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, you ever been in a spaceship before? No, I'm, I'm in <laughs> to it. I'm coming home and get me this. And then you come home and you realize, dog, this shit different. Mm-hmm. Ain't none of that shit I was saying going, really going on like that. The niggas is getting money, but it ain't like hot. No, no, it, it ain't It ain't like that. And one thing about it, people got to take care of it. This ain't back in the day where though, when you came home from jail, to everybody to go to jail, like, you know, when I came, when I when I was a young cat and I seen dudes come home from jail, a dude look out for you. Dude get you yeah. a car, he give you some money, he give you a package, he t- he look out, I'm talking about take your shopping. That was, that was a, that was a, that was a thing. That was a badge of Standard. honor to dudes. Mm-hmm. Now you come home, dudes gonna look at you like you're crazy. They might share a blunt with you or something, mm-hmm. share a uh, half a pill with you or something, mm-hmm. uh, let you hold, hold their gun or some right. dumb shit, but ain't nobody doing nothing for nobody coming home out the joint. Right. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is that story from the yard could fuck you up. Right. Cause mm-hmm. there's some stories on the yard. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was the type of boy where though in jail, I used to like the people that used to have, they used to lie all the time. Like if you was a liar, like Gil was a liar, he tell me all these crazy. Yeah, man, you know I had the Lamborghini helicopter. I was a dude that be in the yard, like what? 
Yeah, you was getting it, man. I heard my man told me you was getting it. Because I want you to keep <laughs> lying to me because that's a part of my ent entertainment. I'm going to have a straight face. And, I, and when dudes say something to you about it, like I used to hate when somebody come and try to blow your cover. Like, dude, be lying. Oh, what the fuck is you, man? What the fuck is you doing? <laughs> because I want to hear that shit. Lie to me because that's my entertainment. But you telling me a story and the fact that you believe that I believe that the shit that you telling me is real, that's everything. But the stories from the yard is designing a lot of y'all family members' mind. And it got them with, 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 with illusions. They suffer from illusions. The granted, they go out here to be all these different people. Just listen to them on the phone. And sometimes you got to check your family member when they call from jail and they on that bullshit. Like, right. yo, man, chill the fuck out, man. Who you talking to, man? Right. You got to come out here. Listen, I got this gig lined up for you. You going to get that and you going to start your life, save some money, do some real shit. Right. You really got to check your family. But when you listen to them, remember, stories from the yard is shaping a lot of y'all family members. So check them when they get on that phone. Stories from the cell. All right. Hey, listen, man. I appreciate y'all. For tuning in each and every week, the Million Dollars Worth of Game, making us the number one music podcast in the country. Hey, listen, man. Make sure y'all go to barstoolsports.com. Get your merch. You know, get you a hat. Get you a sweatshirt. Get you a hoodie. Get you a t-shirt. And when you when you do it, make sure you also do a video and send it over to me. DM. I like to post it on my gram. Make yeah. Show y'all some love back if. Everybody always do to get the merch and buy it, but they always send it over on a story. You know, send it over so I can post you up on the main page. Uh, we appreciate y'all tuning in each and every week. Once again, I'm Gilly the King. Don't call me white girl. I'm Wallow267. And it's just like that. Right!